Hi, so welcome to 2016. So one of the things that I wanted to do for this year was to read more books and so I made myself a goal that I was going to read 50 books in 2016 and as part of that I thought it would be really cool if I could somehow incorporate my YouTube channel and share with you a book review every week of the year. Um, well not every week so I'll do 50 books and I'll do 50 weeks of a, of one review per week of one book that I will share on my YouTube channel. So, so far in this year I think I've read about four books and it's the tenth, so we're in the second week. So, so far I'm on track but it was cool because I had a lot of books to choose from to, to share with you and you'll hear more about the books themselves as time goes on and stuff like that and what I liked and ones that I didn't like. But the book I wanted to share with you today was one that I did like and it was called it is called We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and I have it on my iPad. I'm sorry because I've been reading books on my iPad because I'm trying not to clutter up my space with books because I had recently had to clean out a whole lot of books and that's a whole other story. But this is what the cover uh, looks like. It doesn't really give you any kind of hint or anything about what the book is about. The fact that it's called We Were Liars is kind of a really intriguing title. One of the people who gave it a really good review is John Green and he's known in the young adult book world as basically like the person who just like nailed it like John Green, Bolt Now Stars, Looking for Alaska. Amazing. Yeah so he talked about it and he said it was thrilling, beautiful and blisteringly smart. We were lies it's utterly unforgettable. This book was recommended to me by my sister. She said she read it really quickly and so I thought I'd give it a go because we have a similar kind of kind of book taste but I like to read anything. I particularly enjoy an adult style novels and stuff like that. So it isn't a long book, it's it's only about 250 pages so you can read it really quickly and I did, I think I read it in two days. The story of the book is about the, the main character and she kind of goes on a bit of a, a bit of a journey and it talks about that she goes every summer she goes back her some of her family go back to an island which her grandfather owns and they all go back there and each family has their own house on the island she goes and she's got two cousins who go and one of the and the boy a boy and a girl cousin and the boy cousin brings along his friends who somehow also kind of kind of related and stuff like that and it kind of goes and they call each year like the 15th summer or the some or the 16th or the 12th or something like that and and it kind of corresponds with the year of how old she is and it's all from her perspective there's a bit of kind of jumping between what's happening right now in the story and then what happened two years before and there's this whole like mystery about what happened two years before and the and that for some reason there was a house um the grandfather's house has been rebuilt and, and no one will talk to her about what happened and all she can remember from these two summers ago was the tiny little details like that there was a bonfire and on the beach and there was this and there was this and there was this. Basically there was some sort of accident where she woke up and she was in a hospital and she was in intensive care. She hit her head or something like that. She's going through pretty much am an amnesia state. She has terrible migraines all the time which kind of interrupt the story quite a bit. But you don't know why because she doesn't know why and it's from her perspective and it's it's a really awesome book it came out 2014 so it st still is um i don't know actually if it came out in 2014 probably a bit before that i will check themes in the story are really young adult style and there's a lot of like coming of age and this love and all of this kind of stuff which is really cool to read it's really nice to read and i read it in two days and I found the book was entertaining. There's a huge mystery about what really happened and stuff, and you and you keep reading because you want to know what happens. And I'm glad that this the book itself, the novel, isn't long because it would I feel like that would drag out that story quite a bit, and you would get kind of frustrated with not knowing the details of what happened in this one night for this main character. But I have to say, I didn't see the ending coming. And I don't think you will either. I think you need to read this specifically for the ending. It's it's a major plot twist. It's not what you expected at all. And I think, I think that's why people like the book so much. And a lot of people have said that they do like it is because 
doesn't kind of cling to to a lot of cliches like you think it kind of is for for a major part of the book but then the whole ending means the whole book is different it changes everything and I think it's really powerful I don't think I think there are a lot of you'll read the first like <laughs> the first like two thirds of the book and you'll be like I've read books like this before but for that last third you might you might consider going back and reading it again in light of the ending because it's it changes everything it's completely amazing I gave I'm on the Goodreads app and I think you should all join the Goodreads app and if you want to follow my reviews and stuff like that on Goodreads you can get it as an app you can put in books that you're currently reading you can update your progress you can put in books you've read you can review them out of stars and things like that and yeah so I'm just on Goodreads as Cat Gooding as it's spelled everywhere <laughs> and my reviews will be on there and I just have to check what the review that I gave it was I think it was four stars <gasps> It was five stars so and I, I stand by that I think it was um, I'm, I'm a bit of a harsh critic with books I, I don't give away the stars easily <laughs> but um but I definitely give it five stars and I think it's an awesome book to start your year with if you um, if you're wanting to set kind of a reading goal and stuff start with a nice easy book that you'll get through really well and you'll really enjoy and you will enjoy this one I think I think a lot of young people would connect with this story but I think um, older people would as well because it shares, it's from one character's perspective, but it shares this, a lot of universal problems of blended families and, and all of these kind of factors kind of come in and make it really interesting and intriguing and it's it's a really good read. So I have to say that I will give this book five stars and I think you should read it. So that kind of, I don't, I didn't want to give away too much so I hope I didn't, um, but I really think you, should, you guys should read this book. There are other books I'm going to recommend that I'm going to review that I might say you know maybe don't read this one I don't know if I would recommend it or whatever but I and there have been some so far this year that I'm kind of like was it worth it <laughs> I hope you really do look up getting um we were like if you have an iPad <laughs> in the iBook store you can get um you can just get a sample of a book a lot of people would know this if you have iPads or tablets or whatever because you can get a sample of the book for free so you get like the first chapter or the first like 20 pages so at least get that because it doesn't cost you anything and the book isn't expensive um especially if you get it on your tablet or something like that you're not paying for the hard copy or the shipping or whatever um, but i think this is going to be a big book this year i haven't really seen it before and i think it's going to be it's going to be a big deal up there with other books of the same sort of style and nature i think it's going to be a really a really cool kind of story that will yeah that will kind of keep its kind of hold its own for a long time and I'm really interested to see what this author comes out with over the next couple of years you know it's very exciting so if you want to catch up with more of what I'm doing I am on um on Instagram and Goodreads obviously um and Twitter and all of that stuff I don't really use Twitter but I definitely use Instagram and Goodreads a lot so make sure that you check me out on those I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in my next one that's book one of 50 books yeah if you want to join me we can do it together